guys it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today I am doing a Halloween get ready with me obviously this is going up after Halloween because I have to edit and all of that but I just got ready for Halloween this is what I look like on Halloween and I thought it would be fun for you guys to see what I really do on Halloween and also to give you another costume look since I took a break in the middle of October and didn't do all of the Halloween looks I thought I would I thought this might be fun this is going to be a voiceover because I just wanted to sit and play and figure things out this isn't a look I planned out beforehand but this is inspired by my dark unicorn look from last year I will have that linked up in the eye if you're interested I just made a couple adjustments changed it from like a black purple look to a black silver look added a lot more glitter things like that and I really love how it turned out and even though Halloween is over I hope you guys still enjoy seeing how I got this look and let's just get into it First, I'm starting off with priming the face. I'm using the Ciate Watermelon Burst Primer and just spreading that all over my face and also down my neck because I will be putting makeup on my neck. Next, I'm taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect, and this is having trouble pumping, so <laughs> instead of pumping forever, I just took the pump out and used the pump to spread the foundation on my face and then used a Sigma sponge to blend it out. Next, I am taking the Fenty Match Stick in Amber and using that to contour. I contoured my cheekbones, my nose, and my jaw because I was painting my forehead and my jaw. I don't know why I contoured my jaw, but I skipped my forehead at least. And I just blended it out with a sponge. Then I took my Perversion Eyeliner from Urban Decay and started drawing the crown on my forehead, just drawing upside down peaks on my forehead, trying to be as symmetrical as possible, but it's a little tricky. And then I took some Mayron black paint and filled in the outline, and this paint is water activated and layerable and I did layer it up to get it as opaque as possible but you do have to wait for it to dry otherwise it lifts the paint up and it gets patchy. And then I just took my sponge and I cleaned up where I got a little messy and I repeated that same process on the neck. I just drew upside down peaks on the neck with the pencil eyeliner and filled it in with the black body paint. My last tutorial, I used a gel eyeliner for this step for the neck and the forehead and body paint is definitely easier to work with, but if you don't have access to body paint, a pot gel eyeliner works great for this. Next, I'm taking a silver highlighter. This is Wet n Wild's Diamond Lily. I don't think it exists anymore, so any silver highlighter you have will do, and I'm just layering that over top of the black paint, and I wanted something that was more sheer, so it would be just like a sheen of silver on top of the black versus straight up just silver. And then I'm taking Lorac's Tinge and really layering that on pretty heavy and also putting that on the tips of my nose. And if I didn't say it, obviously I'm putting it on my cheeks, it's blush. Oh no, I forgot concealer. So here I go with the Milani Conceal Imperfect Concealer and I'm just focusing that on my dark circles, trying not to get into the blush that I just applied and also putting that over my eyes to conceal any veins. And then I'm taking the Naked Smoky palette and the light gray colors in there 
and using those to contour and also contouring my nose with those same powders because I didn't want these stark lines like I had last time, but I did definitely want to emphasize my nose and my cheekbones and give my face a more angular look. Then I'm taking the black from the Smoky palette and using that just towards my ear and then taking a clean brush and blending that out so I don't really place a lot of product, but that really sharpens up the angles on my cheekbones and just using the excess on my nose. Then I'm taking that silver highlighter again and using it to highlight my cheekbones and I'm also dragging it down on top of the blush to add a sheen to the blush and putting it on the other high points of my face excluding my forehead. Then I'm taking a heavy metal glitter liner from Urban Decay and just going over my brows. I'm not filling in my brows, I'm just going over my brows with a silver glitter. Then I'm taking the Sigma eyeshadow base in Persuade and using that to prime my eyes and I'm patting that out with my fingers and going into the light gray tone in the Smoky palette and putting that in my transition area and kind of winging that out a bit. Then I'm taking the black and I am just placing that on the outer corner and not blending and it looks pretty crazy especially because there's really bad fallout and I have black all over my face that I have to clean up now but once you take the original crease brush and you start blending it in it really softens it up a lot and it looks a lot less harsh and that's pretty much all I'm doing for the eyes um, I am taking a silver shade on the lid and I'm not wet it, wetting it, I'm just placing it directly on the lid because I am going to layer over top my Shiseido Aura Dew and this is a silver shade and that'll just really add some fine glitter and I'm also popping that glitter on the inner corner. Then I'm taking my Superhero Liner from IT Cosmetics and just lining the lash line. And I'm taking the Perversion Liner that I drew on my face with and lining the water line. And I'm taking the light gray tones that I contoured with and using those to smoke out smoke out that waterline liner and I'm putting on some lashes these are velour I believe flawless is the style and then I am lining my lips with a black liner from JCAT and first I'm going to create the shape that I want then I'm going to fill in the entire lip with the black liner then I am taking the MAC and Aaliyah black lipstick I believe it's called street thing but I could be wrong and putting that on top to really create some dark shiny lips and then I am taking two glitters that I have and layering those on top to bring in that element of silver sparkle to the lips then I'm taking that aura do again and putting that on the very tops of the cheekbones and also taking that and placing that on the peaks on my forehead and my neck to really bring forward that silver on the peaks because it didn't really pop with just the highlighter. Then I'm also taking those glitters again and that Jouer Fun Betty glitter I ended up decluttering after this because I wasn't really getting much out at all and I ended up just using the Urban Decay heavy metal glitter to line and fill in the points on the crown and then I took a loose glitter and layered that on top while it was still wet so this is an 88 cosmetics glitter and 
while the glitter liner was still wet I put that on top and that really helped it to adhere without needing to put on additional glitter glue and I did find as well on the neck that doing one peak at a time was better than painting the glitter liner over all the peaks and then going in with the loose glitter because it was more tacky and there was less glitter fallout that way. I then took a makeup wipe and cleaned up my neck because it did get a bit messy what with using my fingers to lay things down and everything. So I just sharpened up those peaks, cleaned up the glitter, and that is the completed dark unicorn look. completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Dark Unicorn 2.0 version. I love this Halloween costume I've done. I'm able to wear like a cozy black sweater and a headband and just some makeup and look cute and kind of scary at the same time so I thought it was fun and I really like the changes I made to my dark unicorn look from last year whereas doing like the crown versus the full on um, forehead painted out black and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.